Hello and welcome! We are on day one of project one and it's going to be amazing! I can't wait. Um, this project, just so you know, was inspired by you, our students. Um, we've had other Dragon Eye projects in the past and students always rave about them. We love the Dragon Eye project! And they ask for more. So, you know, we want to give you what you want. However, we can't do the same project every year. So this year, we are doing a graphic design project with Dragon Eyes. Uh, so we're switching it up a bit. Still Dragon Eyes, but just a different medium than we've ever used before. So that being said, let's get started. The first thing that I wanted to mention is that um, you know, as we're looking for inspiration after class, after this video, uh, for our Dragon Eyes, um, it can be kind of problematic if you're going to Google and, and searching up like an actual photograph of a dragon. Um, because they don't photograph easily, you know. It's hard to see them in real life for some reason. Don't know why. Uh, <laughs> So, anyway, when people illustrate or create their own version of what a dragon might look like, they're actually usually using inspiration from other creatures in the world that, you know, do exist and we can photograph. Um, so, what we're going to do first and foremost is try to guess the eye. Now, I'm going to do the first two with you just so that you can kind of get an idea of how to, how to play this game by yourself, but I also don't want to go too fast that, uh, you know, I'm giving away and then you're not having time to think about it. So, um, what you're going to do uh, in, our, in our slides in Buzz on our landing page for today where it says day one, click on that and it's going to bring you to the slide that you're seeing what? right here, okay? In step one, it, it says, can you guess the eye? So, if you click on that, it's going to take you to a new slideshow. Go ahead, put it in slideshow mode right away so we're not giving away any answers. And you're going to see an eyeball. And you're going to think, what does this eyeball belong to? Like, is that, what is that, an octopus? Is it a snake? Is it a goat? Probably not a goat. Okay, okay. What is this? Think about it to yourself. Then, once you think you got it, Scroll to the next slide and find out. Ba -da -da -da! Oh, it's a chameleon. Super cool, right? And I love when, when you're looking at each of these pictures, what I want you to do is start to look at like, okay, so what kind of traits are in this creature that you could use to create a super cool dragon? Like, for example, in this chameleon, I feel like the color is hello. So cool. The texture, right? That bumpiness, those ridges, those spikes. So cool. So you could use that as a part of your inspiration for your dragon. And I just want to give you a little heads up here. Your homework for today is going to be to look up photos, inspirational photos of creatures that you might, um, you might want to use for your dragon eye once we get to that point in a few days. Um, so I would definitely, when you find those pictures, um, I would bookmark them or print them or maybe you copy and paste them into a Google Doc and you put that into your art Google Drive folder. Save them somehow. We're going to want those photos in a couple days. So you can kind of see like, yeah, I would maybe find a picture like this and if I'm like, that's cool. Like this is inspiring to me. Somehow figure out a way to save that so that you've got it in a few days when we're ready to start creating your actual dragon eye for this. All right, let's take a look at the next one. What is that? What is that? <laughs> right? Uh, you can guess. I mean, my guess was Baby Yoda. I was wrong. <laughs> also, apparently, a fictional creature. I don't know. So I was wrong. It wasn't Baby Yoda. What do you think it might be? Hmm. It's a toucan. All right. So continue. Like I said, go on into the slide for today. Um. If you're not 100% sure what I'm talking about, when we go into Buzz and we scroll down into the art tile just a little bit, you'll see our landing page here where it says Dragon Eye Day 1. If you click on it, it takes you to these slides, and then you would just click on Can You Guess the Eye. Okay? All right. Um, I also wanted today to show you guys some examples 
of dragon eyes that were actually made by students. Let me do my little magic teacher trick here. Now you see me, now you don't. Ooh. You can still hear me though, right? So these are student examples. They're super cool, right? Some are more intricate. Some are a little bit more simple, but still really cool. Monochromatic. There's different color schemes going on. Um, so feel free to check those out in step two where we're looking at those examples. Get inspired by those as well. But this yours might end up looking something kind of like one of these cool guys here. All right. On the following slide, then, are some questions that I just want you to think about. You don't have to write it down or turn it in. I just want you to think in your head. What tools do you think were used to create these? How did we, like, how did a student actually make these? What is your first impression? What do you like? What don't you like? What do you think you might do for yours? Uh, third one, what animal do you think was used as an inspiration? So when you look at these, you see like certain animals, especially after you went through that guessing game. Did any of them like maybe you're like, oh, this one could be part this and part that. And then finally, the last question I want you to think about is how would you describe the color scheme that you're seeing in these eyes? OK, so just think about those things. All right. As far as your homework, then um, your job is going to be. Let me reappear for you. Hi, I'm back. Okay, step four. Uh, begin looking for animal eye to um, use for your for yours. And I will look at like five or more. Bookmark them, save them, however you want to. And then don't forget one of the most important things that can be easy to overlook, especially since we're just kind of starting this out. Uh, don't forget to go on into your art journal. And if you were in class, you know, you're going to put in that 30 minutes where it says in class, right? However, if you're watching this video, you're just going to put down, whoops, we're going to put it, count it as your in class time, but you're going to put the amount of time of this video in there instead of the 30 minutes. As far as out of class time then, I told you your homework is going to be to look up some creatures' eyes that you might use for inspiration for this project. So pay attention to what time you start doing that and what time you finish doing that and then put that time on, um, down below where it says out of class time. Remember, our goal is always going to be in class that 30 minutes and then do about 30 minutes outside of class each day. I realize that some days that's just not reality. That's okay. We're trying to add up to that 10 hours total for our skills. Um, and it's one point per hour spent on each project. So 10 out of your 40 points for this project will come from, from that. So don't forget to start recording that time. It can be easy to forget each day, but we're going to get into the habit of it right away so that doesn't become an issue. All right. If you have any questions, please reach out. Have fun doing some research, digging up some eyes, and finding what you think is cool. We'll see you next time.